Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Happy Friday, hope it was a really good week for you. This was a green week for me. I caught another live trade on the screen recorder. I wanna play that for you today. Today was a, an interesting trade on AMD. I did get triggered to the short side again, but it ended up taking, I think a total of about 35 minutes, which is, as many of you know, is a very long trade for me. Um, so I'm going to show that to you today and then I'm going to kind of break down what I saw in the trade, um, update you on the progress I'm making on the platform. I know I've had a lot of hiccups and issues and I've got some of those worked out. I actually spent four and a half hours yesterday on hold with interactive brokers bouncing from support person to support person to get things figured out. And I'm gonna update you on ultimately what the resolution for some of my issues was. And I wanna let you guys know and gals know that coming soon, I'm going to do a video on interactive brokers and how I have it set up. So this setting you see right here, I'm gonna show you how I did that. I'm gonna talk about the bracket trades. I'm gonna get into sort of the ins and outs of the global settings for the platform. So that's gonna come, so know that's gonna come. And then the only other thing to update you on is tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern, I'm gonna do a live stream. I want all of you to come on in and we're gonna talk about trade management, trade plans, um, you can bring your ideas. We're going to talk about back testing. I'll show you my spreadsheet on how I how I fill in the back tests so that I can log them. We'll get into all that stuff. But right now, let's just show you this video on my trade. So you can see right here, we've got this is the last 15 minute candle. Let me flip over here real quick just to set it up. So the last 15 minute candle, if I walk this back, is actually. Let's walk it back just a little bit more right there. So this candle here is the 915 candle. You can see it closed as a doji. And as a lot of you know, I'm only taking short positions on AMD right now. I'm not going long, only short. That's what my metrics have showed me. Um, my win rate is almost 60% right now on only bearish plays on AMD. So I'm gonna stick with that and let me just get that set up. Okay, I'm gonna stick with that and that happened again today. So in the pre-market, this did flash up and we had a big green bullish looking candle. And so I honestly thought today that I wouldn't get triggered in. I was thinking that AMD was just gonna to run to the upside and sort of lead me alone for the day. But the last 15 minute candle right here in the pre-market put in a high of 88.30 and a low of 88.01. So I was looking to get short 10 cents below the low of this candle once the market opened. So I went at 87.91 as my entry and looking to take it short, trying to get a 75 cent profit hit on the way down. So I'm gonna show that to you right now. So when I hit play, you're gonna see me get triggered right away. You can see 87.91, that's my sell stop limit to get short. And then I've got a stop loss 30 cents higher and then a take profit, 75 cents below that. So here we go, let's jump in. So you can see I get triggered right there, really nice fill. You can see my fill is 87, 86 and change, basically 87, 87. And it goes in against me initially, and then it starts to kind of just churn and push lower. But volume was a little lower today and I sped the video up just because this did take a long time, so I didn't want you to have to watch this whole thing again. But here is my entry where this uh, red shaded area sort of has this hard line with the black on the chart. That's my entry, 8787. And right here you can see, I'm gonna pause it. We got 40 cents of progress. So once we get to that point, I move my stop loss to break even. So it's gonna be me changing the stop loss from 88.17 to 8787, which is right where I entered. So you'll see that selection here. I'm gonna pick that out, change it, and then confirm it. So I go 87.87, click it, and then I hit the update button. Very smooth. There you go, everything's good. You can see the, the order right here. So 87.87 is the stop, 87.12 is still the target. Now this one was interesting because it struggled at the half dollar, which is a little bit of psychological support. 
and then it breaks through it and it just keeps kind of hanging. This one didn't want to go quickly. This one was, I don't know if um, some larger buyers were accumulating a short position, meaning letting the price run up, shorting it, shorting it, shorting it, leaving it alone, letting it breathe, letting the price come back up, short, 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 and just building a, a larger short position. But you can see now we're in the second 15 minute candle of the day. So that means that it's beyond uh, beyond 9.45 Eastern time. So this pushes down and what happens, and this is kind of an interesting thing, I'm gonna show you some details on this trade on the platform, but I get a partial fill. And once I get that partial fill, I'll pause it because I wanna show you how slick this platform is for handling partial fills. So it pushes down again. We're almost, I was two pennies away right there. And I was very, you know, I start getting those feelings of, should I just close this? Should I just get out? But I can't. I got to get the full, the full fill. So now we're into the third 15-minute candle. So this means we're beyond 10 o'clock. So here we go. Right there, I'm going to pause it. So you can see that triangle came out. I just got a partial fill. And you can see right up here, I just filled 320 of my 1,200 shares. But notice what the platform did. I still have 880 shares remaining, and it went ahead and updated my stop loss to be for 880, because this could be a problem. Let's say I get filled for 320 shares, and I still have 880 to fill, and then this runs all the way back up and stops me out. I don't want my stop loss to be for the full 1,200, or else now I will have I'll be long shares because it's more than the 880. So it self updates this, this stop loss, which is perfect, which means I don't have to touch anything. I can just leave this alone. So I'm gonna hit play again. It's gonna come back down to the 8712 level in just a second. It's gonna give me another partial fill. This gets kind of interesting. So I filled 320 of my 1200, comes down again. Now look at this. Now, I've filled 420 shares of my 1,200. So I'm about a third that I've, that I've logged out of or that I've uh, legged out of. And then ultimately, it's going to give us a nice, I believe that just a big push down where it closes the rest of the position. But still have 780 shares. And I am a little concerned that we're going to put in a doji and then start moving higher. So I am aware of that. But it kind of hangs in the 8720s, gets back into the teens, and then ultimately decides to give a hard push down and close this all out. So right there, close the rest of the position, self-canceled the stop loss, and that's the trade. But you can see one, two, three 15-minute candles that it took to get this one done. So there was a little bit of mild anxiety about wanting or the urge to punch out of this trade early. And the example I'm going to give, this is just a conversation I had. Let's say that I am trying to make $900 on this position and I come within $60 of that profit. So let's say I have $840 profit. If I take that trade off $60 early, you say, oh, great, great trading day, not a big deal. You didn't get 2.5R, but you got close. What if you took $60, you know, what if you took it off $60 early on 100 trades? That's $6,000. So what seems like this little minuscule thing of just taking your trade off a, a couple pennies early can translate into thousands and thousands of dollars if you do that repeatedly. So this just hammers home. Here's the takeaway from this trade. Stick with your, with your metrics stick with your trade plan. If your goal is 2.5 risk units for profit, you've got to get there because everything is based on that risk unit. So if you're willing to lose one unit to make two and a half, you've got to stay with that. If you take two and a quarter or two or 1.9 or you know whatever, you're potentially leaving thousands and thousands of dollars on the table over the course of what we like, you know, the law of large numbers. The longer you go, the hundreds of trades later, you're gonna look back and you're gonna see thousands, tens of thousands of dollars left on the table, and that would be unfortunate.
So let's flip over now because I want to show you how funny the timing was on this. So we got out. Then, so let me roll this forward. So there's that first candle. And I'm actually going to maybe back this out just a little bit. Okay, there's, okay. So there's the three candles. All right, so I'm out. You can see that when this candle closed, it ended up being sort of a doji. So if I walk forward a little bit more, now we're going green, more green, more green, and that would have stopped me out. That would have been a break even stop out. So you can see that the low of this candle got down to 86, 87, and I closed out at 12, so 97, seven, so about 20, about 25 cents lower it went, and then reversed. So we got out at a beautiful time. Any more profit than 2.5R with a 30 cent stop loss, I think would have been too much in this one. It wouldn't have gotten there or, yeah. I mean, at one point today I thought I was gonna get within two pennies and then have it reverse on me. But luckily we got that push down and the probabilities are working in our favor. So we're good to go. So now let's roll forward. You can see what it's done the rest of the day kind of gone higher. It's kind of at uh, where it is. It actually hasn't moved at all compared to where it opened. That's interesting. So AMD dropping and then moving back up. So for commissions on the day, so here is my activity panel. These are my trades. Um, I can expand them to show you all the, all the uh, exchanges, the dark exchange, the island exchange. I can show you all the fills. But ultimately to get short on this trade, it cost me $8.47. And then to cover the position and get out on those three fills, it cost me another $6. I'm thrilled to pay this money for these amazing silky smooth fills. If I click the summary tab, here's what we did today. AMD, we bought and sold 1,200 shares. My sell price was uh, 87.87, and then I got filled at 87.12. 75 cent profit, and commissions for the day, $14. 47 cents for 1,200 shares. I pay per share for these commissions. And then my, real, my realized P&L, after you deduct this money from my P&L, I'm left with $887 worth of profit for Friday. So really good week. That ends up, I'm gonna just do a quick calculation. Um, that put me up, let's divide this out and just see um, where we are for the week. But I, I was trying to, figure out how many R's. It puts us close to 5R on the week. And again, I'm gonna do a recap for the month of February. On the 1st of March, I'll have that out for you, for all of you, and we can take a look at how many R's I make for the month of February. But right now, my R value is $360. So every time I put on a trade, I'm okay with losing $360 for the opportunity to make $900. Next month, that'll go to $420. And we'll just kind of keep going on and on adding 50 to 60 bucks, um, anything divisible anything divisible by 30 cents. That's kind of where I'll go because that's my stop loss now. So 420 next month, 360 this month, and so far, so good. We'll kind of see how things go. Um, if I do show you guys my TraderView account, the end of the month, I'll show you kind of all the trades as far as how many green days for the month I had. But if we consider, let's flip over there right now. Let's go to TraderView real quick. Okay, so I want to show this to you in my TraderView account. Um, I filtered it by February 1st to February 5th, just this week, just so you can kind of see this. But right now, this is kind of what my week is looking like. Um, I don't have Friday logged in. Um, IBKR doesn't give you that downloadable file until later tonight, so I'll add that 900 on here. Um, but let me just give you a quick, let me give you the quick, uh, do your month day. So let's look at our weekly amount. So right now, this is showing, let's add this up. So 651.22, and I'll add that 887 equals 1538.22 for the week. And this was sort of, again, feeling out, phasing in week. Had a couple fat finger fumbles this week, some weird stuff that left some profits on the table. So overall, um, you know, close to 1550 in profit. And if I divide that by 360, that gives us 4.27. So about four and a quarter R on the week, which is fantastic. Um, we will take that week in and week out. 
because every month we're going to be raising our risk level, which will ultimately um, hopefully to arrive at a thousand dollar risk per trade at some point someday in the future. So that would make um, 4.27 Rs, that would be um, $4,270 at a thousand dollar risk level. So that's the ultimate long term goal. We're playing the long game here. We're slowly increasing our R value every month. Right now we're at 360. Next month we'll move to 420, but that will get more and more interesting as we as we go along. So pretty good Friday, really happy with it, really happy with the patience on this one. This was a tough one to sit around and watch because, um, you know, when it started to doji out a little bit and started to act like, you know, maybe it didn't want to, it didn't want to drop anymore and it was going to pop. Kind of got me thinking about jumping out, but as you guys know, I'm trying to really hold on and either let the stop loss get hit or I get my full profit. So I'm still a work in progress, learning every day, making improvements every day, and I want to touch on what I found out on my um, four and a half hours of support time with IBKR yesterday. We basically got into the fact that I was using the latest release of the software and what the technician did was they rolled me back to the stable version. So they sort of have a beta version, a latest version, and a stable version. And as things go, as time moves on, the everything from the latest version or the, everything from beta will eventually end up in the latest. And everything from latest that gets time tested will end up in the stable version. It's sort of a trickle down thing where the stable version is like everything that's bug free consistently for a period of time. So now I'm on the stable version and things worked a lot better today. So I didn't get any error messages like you've been seeing. My bracket worked really well. Um, the only thing that's not working is that it's not auto moving my stop loss when I get 40 cents of profit. So I'm gonna just forget about that for right now. I don't know why that is, um, but that functionality just doesn't seem to work. If you know how that works or you, you know how to make that functionality work, the self moving the stop loss where the platform does it, drop me a comment below and let me know. I'd love to figure that one out. But really good Friday. Tomorrow's our live stream. We're gonna get started at 11 a.m. Eastern time, 10 Central, 9 Mountain, 8 o'clock on the West Coast. Come join me, or if you're in Sitka, Alaska, that would be 7 a.m. Um, come join me, come hang out, bring your questions. We're gonna, We're gonna talk all trade management, trade plans. I wanna help get you all over that hump of consistency. The consistency piece seems to be the hardest for everyone. Um, it seems like people go down a rabbit hole, they get something figured out, they start to use it, and then when it doesn't work, they, they switch, they jump to another strategy. And the law of large numbers never has an opportunity to fully play out. You have to accumulate a large number of occurrences to, to be able to see the probabilities and the statistics play out. Um, if you have a 50% win rate or a 45% or whatever, you in order for that to be realized as profits, you have to give it a chance to work. And that can mean 100, 200, 300 trades. It takes time. But Join me tomorrow, check that out. It should be a lot of fun. Um, I've been chatting with a lot of you in the private Facebook group and it seems like we've got some good excitement over there about coming in for the live stream tomorrow. So if you're new to the channel, um, subscribe if you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button and then come over to the banner of the YouTube page and just click the link to the private Facebook group and I'll get you approved and we can get you set up there. About 200, and, almost 230 of us now in that private group, so come join us. If you wanna track your trades in a platform like this, TraderView.com, it's amazing. I've used it for um, quite a while now. They have a free version and two paid versions. If you sign up and use a paid version, it helps support the channel. The link is in the description, and the link is also in the banner of the YouTube channel, so feel free to check that out as well. You can support the channel, and I really appreciate it. So hope everybody had a green week. Hope it was a wonderful Friday. We'll see you all in the morning. Have a great rest of the day.